A guns blazing non-stop action side-scrolling shoot 'em up and the introduction of Nintendo's most underutilized IP. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we talk about two of the best shooters on the SNES. Only one can move forward in our tournament. It's Contra 3 The Alien Wars versus Star Fox on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. One of Jacob's all-time favorite franchises. Woo! Star Fox. Yeah. Versus... The granddaddy of the Star Fox franchise on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Versus Contra. Contra 3. Super Contra. Uh, Alien Wars? Yes. Yeah. Now, just a disclaimer, in case you saw any promos beforehand, we actually had Zombies Ate My Neighbors here. Yeah. We just decided it just didn't fit... It... It's a great game. We love it. It's I love just, that game. It's just that stupid baby. If, if we say Zombies Ate My Neighbors, you, you could be playing on Sega. You're gonna play you could be. I just feel like after we reviewed the facts, it was just a last minute change. I think yeah. it's for the better. There's a lot of people. I like, okay, let's, let's start off the bat. I've mentioned it before. I love Star Fox, but I'm not talking about Star Fox. I want to talk about Contra for a second. It's the same thing we mentioned in the reason Contra mo- moved up so far. I, <laughs> the reason Contra moved up I so far that. in the NES bracket. Is because I think the original Contra and then Contra Three for the SNES, both of that's their heydays of Contra. Yes. Beyond sixty four and up, like that's where they. This is one of the best Contra games. Their Contra. This is even have a Contra on sixty four. No. This is one of the best Contra games. There. Oh yeah. This is one's really good. Mm-hmm. This yeah. one's good. Oh, no, without a doubt. Like if you're gonna talk about top five, top three Contra games, this is what guys. I think that's on there. Yeah. One hundred percent. Let's just jump into it real quick. One hundred percent. Uh, visual. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Look, you ready? I'm a big, I'm a big person. I think Contra's visuals are a little better. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, the F, what the FX chip was doing with Star Fox was amazing. It is the reason I love that game. It's one of my favorite games on the console. As a kid, I grew up on Top Gun in the '80s. I wanted to be a fox and I wanted to fly in space and shoot lasers, Dad Gummit. But as an adult, I go, my eyes are bleeding. I'm a furry. I'm a furry and <laughs> I like casually, Top Gun. He constantly <laughs> snuck that in there. I, y'all heard that? He just I'm, admitted to being I'm, a furry. I didn't say that. I wanted to be. I do nothing. I wanted to be a fox. And and I I'm like Top Fox. Gun in something. They, some game. Someone heard my dreams and they made it. Jacob, uh, we, just we respect all over you. The Jacob's a furry. We respect you. Yeah, but, but, we but, but, accept. What I was trying to hype There's up. There's nothing wrong with it, Jacob. It's okay. <laughs> but I was trying to hype up with it. And Stunt Race FX. Good gosh, those games make your eye bleed a little bit. They the do. Frames. Okay, we need to say something up front. Mm-hmm. We need to talk about because Star Fox is one of the ones that's going to show its age more than any of the other ones, right? Yes. Um, and I feel like you need to talk about it as it was versus how it is now. Like, yeah. And we're going to talk about standing the test of time later. Yep. That's um, what I'm trying to leave. There it was to. nothing. I'm going to say. Mm, as a kid, it was cool. But I'm going to say. Man. I don't know. I'm going to say Star Fox me. I'm yeah. going to say Star Fox me because I think that. I don't know. Vincent has something to say about I'm that. A, I'm gonna say you Star upset Fox. him, dog. I'm gonna say Star Fox because there was nothing quite like it. At no, no, the time. no, 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 no. Ooh, cause he there was that... nothing quite okay. like it. It may have been rudimentary, like very basic. Like there's probably <sighs> more polygons in half of a fingernail in a video game now than there is in the entirety of Star Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but at the time, there was nothing quite like it, Not and then at all. it simulated that 3D experience super well. Right, and you can do and you can do first person, you can do third person. So <laughs> yeah. Go. And don't oh, forget the little. Don't, 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 speak, go. don't forget the started. little portraits at the bottom mm-hmm. either. The little. The, yep, they just sprite. there was some sprite work in there. The yeah. continue screen. So they did good, and I understand that. And they they, they had to be able to fit because it was a massive game. It, it, it was very demanding, and so they had to be able to fit that all on the cartridge. And I get that, and it looked really good with what it was trying to do. But I think Contra just the fact that Contra a little got a little bit more detail in comparison. I gotta go with Contra. Yeah, it does look good. That's it what looks I'm saying. Really good. It does like, look really good. I think out of all those platforming games, we're not talking about shooters or, or Metroids or Mega Mans or anything like that. Even though you kind of shoot a little pellet, like that that game moves smooth. It looks smooth when you move. Like there's no, there, it gets a little framey in some places. Uh, Contra does get more framey with two characters. With two the characters, you're playing two but it does that. That game likes to shine, show off the Mode Seven again. Yeah. That plane flies at the screen, right? Yeah. You have the stuff going on in the background. Um, but I, I mm, the, it's a tough one, and that's what I wanted to say. I don't want to be biased about Star Fox. Like it just like if you go back as an adult and play it, and it's like ooh, somebody's it it's does. struggling a little bit. Yeah. But I cannot deny the the, the the I go back to Jacob kid kid Jacob. Excuse me. The wonder that I had, which is what you're explaining, of just it, like holy cow. Do you remember that and, first that very first cutscene that 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, 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 that big old thing flying over here. And I agree with you. Zooms it. I mean, not, not, not only let's not talk about the graphics itself, but also presentation yeah. just as a whole. I think mm-hmm. uh, Star Fox has a better presentation as far as telling the story. Oh no, 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 hundred no, percent. Well, let's 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 move on. Let's and I and I that. and I agree with you with you in, in, in your in your assessment of that. But you know, the fact to me is is that I, I pretty much agree with where Jacob's coming from with this. It's just the fact that as an adult, if you pick it back up, it looks really rough. Well, it's also, hard. also like whenever you fight certain dude, remember how Andros looks super cool, and he's just but he's like spitting just tiles at you. Yeah. Or like whenever the the weird cube Andros comes out, and it's like well, I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. But I think I, I still I'm, I'm going with Star Fox. Okay. All right, next, what's next? Audio. Oh, oh, Star Fox, bro. Star Fox. Get this out of here. Dude. Star <laughs> Fox. I, the music. Contra, dude. Uh, hold on. Let me, let bangers. Me, let me say something. Yeah. Let me say something. Contra, say something. Contra has really great sound sound design, has mm-hmm. great music. Mm-hmm. That jingle, din, 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 that's incredible. Cool. But Star Fox 1, mark my words, has the best soundtrack in the entire franchise of Star Fox. Mm. I agree with that. I agree with that. They just they, yes. they did not replicate it. It's, it is Cornaria. So Cornaria theme. Yes. Dude. Uh, that first level scramble, scramble, and you shoot out. The, I, get, I, I get goosebumps. I get as a kid. All in, incoming enemy fighters. Prepare. And then you, you blast the, off. The voices. And you see, you they actually see, use voice actors. Yeah, voice you act. see your first Lord. squad mates come out. Lord. And then Lord. Fox comes out. And the music kicks in. He's checking with his teammates. Let's freaking kill some aliens, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Sorry, it's my. Ben. I like Star Fox. Ben, the the the, the, the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love the little <laughs> animal banter. Yeah, I love too. that. That's great. I love that radio. I want more radio of it. chatter. Like, yeah. like I know it sounds so goofy looking back, and it's like that 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 that. that. We always joke like that, but right. I mean, like in it's all great. honesty, though, man, like it was really cool to see that 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 radio chatter between yeah. the four of them. Well, what's even cooler is at the very end, Pepper and and Fox talk. Yes, they have a conversation. In, in my head as a kid, I'm like. Oh my gosh, there's words coming out of my TV from a video game, bro. Yeah. No, like, and the, not just heck? words, good sounding yeah. words. It's not just like, or uh, B17 yeah. Bomber. It's none of those. It's, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Or like that one game, what is it? Um, is it Double Dribble where they sing the uh, Maybe. the national anthem and it yeah. sounds oh, it's bad. abysmal? It's bad. This sounded like real, like, like it sounded like phone quality. Yeah. Like This is Pepper. Congratulate you on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornaria. Yeah, dude, it's great. Oh, I love it here. Oh, dude. Sorry. It's the, the audio, the audio can we go, can we go, is so fantastically done. Not just that, but the sound effects, too. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. The lasers. Insector has a smart dancing legs. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I play Star Fox music on our podcast almost every so episode. So much. Every episode, dude. I love I, mm. He does it so much. The sad much. part is the composer for that never went on to make any more music. No, like, he, so like He made music, but not for video games. And yeah. that is a, like... Killer. Oh, incredible. There, I don't think there's a single bad song on that not soundtrack. It's mm. bangers. Mechanically, bangers, bangers, can bangers, we talk bangers, about bangers. mechanics? I, I have to go with Star Fox. Star Fox this, again. This is where it's going to get tough, because, I don't know, Contra... Contra does some neat stuff. Multiplayer. Yes, there's that. That's Contra the, does have that going for them. That's but that secret weapon they got, and they it's, got it works really multiplayer, good. Multiplayer. The controls are buttery smooth. Butter smooth. Yes. If, if you know what you're doing in that game, you cannot blame it on the controls no. because it's going to do everything you need it to do. It is a little hard to shoot diagonally sometimes. I feel like I wish their palettes would have been just a little bit different because they go with a lot of yellows, oranges, and and uh, yeah. blue. Because I mean, like sometimes I lose my character and your character vice versa. Yeah. That's, that's well, visual, when they but, get over each other, they kind of blend mm-hmm. it a little bit. But but <laughs> the different weapon effects, the spread shot, the yeah. homing missile, the explosions, dude. That one boss fight we we're doing where the um, the we had to run around in a circle. Oh, the, the Terminator comes the through the wall. The big Terminator boss. He claws was, through the wall. Yeah, and he was shooting the flames around, and it's like we had to, like, mm. each boss fight feels... Oh, completely unique. Yeah, it feels fun. Even those top-down sections, as weird as they are, mm-hmm. um, no, they're, they're, not, they're not bad. I like the, like, they're just they not were, as good as the side-scrolling. It was using utilizing the Mode 7 again and using the bumpers yeah. to rotate the camera. That's really cool. And unique. It wasn't bad. And I, I gotta say, playing multiplayer on Contra is pretty fun. Like, we had a good time oh, so yeah. playing that. Yeah, it, 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 it's fun. It's playing all day on phone. It's a, it's fun game, but the thing about Star Fox, and let's get this out the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, Contra can stutter a little bit, like whenever you're um, you, know, you got a lot There's of particle effects and stuff going on. But like, 
I don't know. Star Fox is consistently slow. Yeah. And, yeah. and it has to be to and be it able gets to play what they're doing. Really slow. And yeah. it gets difficult. Yeah. Dude, Star Fox, those like like if you ever play the, the more difficult branches, dude, mm-hmm. they, they, they're rough. One shot you lose a wing. Yeah, it's frustrating. Wing damage. It's frustrating. Like you lose you lose those twin blasters. Oh my You might gosh. as well reset. I'm resetting pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even I'm not even yeah. I, anytime I lost my wing, I was I was I do out. feel like uh, Star Fox, you've got a little bit more of a chance um, just playing the levels through. Whereas with Contra, man, they will throw stuff at you so fast that you can't react. And if you're playing on, like, we, we set it on easy mode and put seven lives and we still die a lot. Mm. And with, with Star Fox, it's like, you you will have enough chance to kind of get through. But it does not... It's a. It's probably one of the more difficult first party games on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is mad difficult. Which is, I, mean, I did the easy path. That was the first game I ever beat. Oh, yeah, dude. It's such a... But, it's but good. I gotta go... Even over Mario World. Star Fox really impressed me with what it did. It was just, it was a unique form of yeah, gameplay yeah. for its time. Yeah. And so yeah, while well, this probably more so the revolutionary part, but I'm kind of thinking in this case, my mechanics and my revolutionary go hand in hand here. A little bit. And and, and I gotta go yeah, with this where the mechanic with the mechanics are concerned. I gotta go with Star Fox because how many games like that? Existed at that time period. Oh, on a real like spaceship. I mean, you, you had you had you, could, you had games like that. They just weren't three D, like exactly, Afterburner, exactly. for example. Yeah, exactly. you kept in Skyhawk kind of. And those were a little, yeah, a little bit more arcadey. Like, yeah. Exactly. Giving you points on how far you traveled versus. But this this but I see what Steve's saying. Like there is like I said, and I mentioned earlier, you go from first person to third person. You know, the first time I went to the asteroid, you fly off of Cornell, you're in space, and it goes whoop, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm in the cockpit. Yeah. Let's go. And then you know, yeah, of course, you're bare. Roll, you shoot right? that one guy and he the lizard, the lizard guy, guy spins at yeah. the camera. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have to go with Star Fox on this one, and it's just again you know, not being biased because I agree. Like Contra, I remember as a kid felt good, and playing it again with you, just re- rekindling that the nostalgia. Like man, this game feels smooth. Dude. Yeah. Compared to other SNES games, that's a very smooth, slick, fast game. It's good. It's good. Especially single player. Uh, but it's just, it's the uniqueness, I guess, is what I'm saying when it comes I'm gonna to I'm going to give it a tie. I think it's worth I'm going to give it a tie. Size. Tie? I, I, feel like okay. I, I feel like they're... That's I, fair. I, I feel, I, I'm okay with that. I feel like they're, they're both special. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that is the weakest part of Star Fox, yeah. unfortunately. Um, all right, well, I, honestly, to... Ooh, what's... Stand the test of time. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got to go with Contra on this one. Yeah? I mean, it's... The, like like we said earlier in the visuals, it's dated. It's slow. I'm gonna use your own uh, thing against you and say that this is its peak. Whereas Star Fox 64, other than the music, is better in just about every way possible. I agree. I agree with that. I think I think I love Star Fox more. I think the fact yeah. that's like okay. Star Fox One is great, but the fact that Star Fox 64 exists. If I'm gonna pick up an old Star Fox game, it's gonna be oh, 64. 64. Yeah. And if I'm gonna pick up a oh, contract, the 3DS, the 3DS version. Be... Man, wow. Oh, wow. Is that oh. good? I haven't played the 3DS. The 3DS, oh, it's great. Oh, wow. It's fantastic. fantastic. Uh, I'll have to go with that one. Again, I, I, I talk about Kid Jacob watching. Uh, this is kind of like Steve said. Um, in his, in his furry suit. In his furry suit, yeah. Um, just playing it, just being amazed by what it was doing back then, but I didn't know any better. But like going back, you, oh, you no. go. At the time, Ooh. it was amazing. Yeah, Ooh. there's nothing quite like but it. The test of time is um, how how does it look now? And we look back at it, and it's like oh. what? Well, I, I think there's a charm to it. There is. There really yeah. is. And I'm not. I'm not trying to knock it. I'm not I'm like like there is some charm to it. But I mean, if I got to compare the two, as it, far it as, is a little difficult. Like if, and then multiplayer gives it the bug. Yeah, I think contra I mean, gets tough. It does. It always has been tough. I think with Contra... But that's also its appeal. Yeah, sorry. I think with Contra, like, if you're playing... Like, some people might look at Star Fox and be like, what is that supposed to be? Like, that bad guy? Yeah, exactly. That? But then, like, with Contra, it's like, those are two T-800s. Yeah, the yeah. hangar there. That's yeah. what that is. 100%. That's a Xenomorph with wings. Yeah. We thought it was a mouth coming... Hand, a hand coming out of his Got a wiener bug coming after us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what much. that is, but that's a wiener. Right? What up. is revolutionary for its time? Star Fox. Star Fox. Yes. Star Fox th- did something new. Yes. A completely new, completely new style of gameplay. Yes. Contra, Contra came in and go, hey, we're going to do the same game, but we got Mode 7. The literal same it's thing gonna, we It's going to be smoother. What represents the console? Star Fox. Star, Star Fox. Fox. First yes. party games are always going to get a nod like that. It's yeah. time to vote. Jacob, go. <laughs> do I have to say it? No, we, we know. Okay. You have to cast your vote. Click. Cast it into the fire! Star Fox. Star Fox 2. 
Star Fox 2? Yeah. I like Star Fox 2. Star Fox 2 is good. Star Fox 2 like was game. really fun. Yeah. I, I think I like Star Fox 2. Too bad it didn't exist as kids. Uh, that's kind De- of one that's of the hardest things. Those are really good. That's kind of one of the harder, the, the worst things about that game is that Star Fox 2 should have existed. It was really good. My vote, Star Fox, all the way. I mean, nothing against Contra, but, you know, the fact that Star Fox was like, it was revolutionary. I mean, it was a 3D rail shooter where you had complete control over the over the ship's movements. I mean, on the rail, obviously, but it's not so much like you. Like I think a lot of times, and, and I haven't really played a whole lot of rail shooters like that, so forgive me if I'm wrong. But I feel like in those days, you got a big Panzer Dragoon fan over if here. You had, if you had a lot of things that were on coming to you, mm-hmm. the only way you could dodge them is by destroying them, shooting them. Mm-hmm. Whereas with Star Fox, you were dodging them. You were moving up and down. You had to maneuver through that through that space. And to me, is so revolutionary. But not only just that, but the, the different paths you could take. Like, mm-hmm. the difficulty was dictated by those paths. Yeah, the that freaking system. black hole? What is that? There's yeah. a... Uh... There's a, an aspect of Star Fox I haven't brought up, and it was a negative, but I mean, we might have to do that later. Sure. Just remind me. Okay. But my vote was for Star Fox. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Star Fox it is, ladies and gentlemen. Star Fox wins! Mission complete. Star Fox blasts to victory, even though Contra made it so far in Season 1. Will Star Fox warp to the number one spot, or will it get shot down mid-flight? Subscribe to find out, and as always, leave us a like and comment down below how you feel about these great games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.